All right, for my winter signs, Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn, you are like doing great. Like your mood, strength card, like you are going strong. You understand um, what is needed to deal with certain things. You understand how to clean up a mess and that is the energy that you are going for you have found a harmonious relationship with yourself with others like you're learning to have fun you're learning to enjoy everything and your hopes is that you'll receive your rewards for it you'll be able to kick up your feet you'll be able to enjoy um an almost domestic lifestyle like um festivities like you are hoping for that level of reassurance that you are doing well for yourself and because of that while everything here looks great the devil is in your fears you are fearful of temptation whatever it may come um whatever comes whatever tempt tempted you before it's coming back because while everything is looking peachy um boredom is setting in that's what it is it's boredom um and that's what happens sometimes is when you feel like you're doing great you need to stir the pot almost and with your transition um things are looking really good this is normally a very auspicious sign the three of cups um mercury in cancer so um what it's pretty much stating is that you will be able to like when you go into a party when you go into uh festivities you'll be able to communicate well with people you'll be able to like enjoy things that you were never really able to enjoy before um let me check something quick yeah you're doing great like um we'll probably need advice for this devil card and that's what we're gonna look into in a spliggity second for you okay so excuse that little pause hopefully you could hear the song it was i will survive and that was not the song that was playing it cut off mid end there was nothing that should have made that move so that is the song for you my winter folk my pisces aquarius and capricorn so i stated with the devils in the details you have been doing great however the ten of flamingos the ten of spades you have been doing so well that you are now in an emotional and mental anguish because everything has been going great and because of that it is pretty much putting you in a very stagnant position where you're not really sure what to go from here and now you are battling with things of the past you um had a decision before you had the seven of hats which traditionally is the seven of cups and that's normally just you have so many options in front of you, you don't know what to choose and you ended up choosing that already you chose the four of oysters which normally means the regaining of riches and 
instead what ended up being lost instead of riches in this sense is a sense of mm, company is what i want to say you've lost company within yourself within the people surrounding you because here would normally mean the stagnation but um you don't necessarily have these friends to help you with that that's what i'm feeling and that's what i'm kind of getting at is that you chose the lesser of two evils in this uh, manner and you are now kind of stuck in a rut you are financially in a great place you feel as if you are doing fabulous but however in this regard with your transition um what you all the loose ends are kind of sort of come back to you you're remembering what you lost and you are thinking about these things and in a sense you are about to get some unexpected expen unexpected changes um coming your way and you're gonna need to learn how to deal with it and uh let me quickly look at what the harrelson means again because i remember it like meant something important for you um reversed um yeah, you are going to have uh, a s difficulty, like, um, really coming across new philosophies. Because the Hierophant is kind of like the mystic. Not necessarily the magician, but they've gone through life. They are at a certain stage in their life where they kind of understand the meaning of life, understand the meaning of the world. And in the upright position, you are able to take things more critically but in the reverse um you're a little bit more gullible you feel as if um when a wiser person comes towards you that they have the correct decisions and i can only tell you to be critical of everything um because you are going to come to an unexpected change and you are going to believe as if the past um has a hand in that and karmatically that might be the case however i don't think so with this three of cups you will feel as if it's karmatically going to destroy everything that you worked for but um if you don't get a grip within yourself you will actually end up losing what you ended up gaining and if that's not what you want you're going to have to um look at your surroundings you're gonna definitely have to look at your surroundings with this card you're gonna have to look every which way you're gonna have to i feel like you've looked within yourself a lot and unlike the other two signs the other um seasons you are going to have to almost hangman it you're going to have to like really look at new perspectives. You're going to have to take those critically. And that's the key word here is critically. And really allow yourself to feel and study and know whether or not these philosophies are going to work out for you. Because if you don't, you're going to have an unexpected change that you're not going to like. And I'm going to pull a couple more cards for you and see um, how this is going to turn out for you. Okay. So, we pulled out a couple of cards for you. A couple more than normal for the other signs. So, again with these signs. Um, you're going to have to learn to be a little bit more empathetic. Like, not saying you might have lost sight of that at some point having gained um the material necessities that you wanted i think that's what it is is that you had recovered or you're in a place where you weren't before where you are almost financially stable in your life that you had again lost sight of certain things you 
are getting caught up in um, a certain dream state that you had forgotten and lost sight of certain beauties. You've lost sight of certain um, modes of how you go about things. And in this uh, Mercury retrograde and the end of the year, you're going to have to refine, rediscover um, the beauty that you lost. You're trying to remember what that is. Like, what you found beautiful. Like, what sparked um, some level of, like, pleasure. Like, and what you also have to be careful is whether or not it's, like, um... What is it? Um, consensual. Consensual pleasure. And I feel that in a way you almost allowed yourself to be tortured by this new lifestyle that you have. That you have let yourself grow stale because you felt um, whatever um, sort of lifestyle you had in the past that was hurting you and in rediscovering exactly how to almost function in society you lost your sense to dream your sense of wonder and that's probably what you need to start focusing on is in order to kindly dream for yourself that where you're not going to lose the status that you've gained and if that's exactly where you want to be in life you want to be careful with how you take your next steps because with the knight of wand let's go back to this for a second um that is a almost mischievous sign where he is here for play he is here for entertainment and in a way he has no compassion he's just here for himself he's here for whatever reason he wants to be in and you have to learn to be creative about the pleasures that you want in your life before you end up getting uh unexpectedly um what is it called you trespassed um unexpected it's like someone unexpectedly trespasses into your life or you might unexpectedly trespass into someone's life you have to be very very careful um with your compassion because you might not have been you might have actually been in this situation here where you are in this um humanitarian um life like you might have moved forward and even with like maybe the backwards or the reverse terrafant you found certain philosophies in your life and you're going to come and discover that they really didn't work out for you. That <clears throat> you may have um, put yourself into a state of illusion. Like you are in a very deluded state. Like you need to rediscover um, your connection with people. Like more so n not having it be materialistic you have to rediscover the pleasures of living is what it is like don't don't make it grand is what it is because if you make it grand you lose that status you have to find the simplicities of life before you continue on with the lifestyle that you want to live in you have to be in your niche to allow yourself to eventually be able to travel and that's what you need to focus on is i think finding your tribe that's what literally i think what it is is you need to find the tribe of people that um will be there for you kind of i don't remember if the fall signs had something similar where they had to um detach themselves you have to reattach yourself you have to empathetically find the people 
that bring the beauty that you want in your life and that's what you um have to do for the and for the remaining of november and for um the gradual steps for the next year is what i'm seeing in these cards so that's what i have for you guys best of luck